Hi, today I'm going to be discussing the issue of Tishab, the Hurrians, the Hattians, the impact on Israel, on Judaism, on world religions, as well as your your rather beginning witness to my my introduction of Tishab and the weather phenomena that's been going on. In fact, they managed to infiltrate some of my student work a few years ago, which is what forced me to go back into the FCHR because he came right into the student work online. So this is this is interesting what I have to show, and you're going to say, well, how is that possible? And so perhaps I should go right in and take a peek so we can find it. Uh, let's see if this one has it here. May or may not be in this one here. Nope, it's not this one. It'll be on this one. Oh, if I can get this up, I guess I go like this. Here we go. No, not that one. If you want to see the origins. Okay, here's my student work. And um, her name was quite significant. She's an adult now. And so this particular thing, and I don't know if you can see it. I took this. Originally, uh, 716, no, 316, 2022. That makes sense. The kids were in school. So here was the story, and the story was this. Why was the Balkan Peninsula considered the power keg of Europe? This was an online. Many of the kids, because this was open book, went in and does, just quickly looked up the answer online. And she came up with the short answer, which should be ending right here. They had a long history of nationalist uprising and ethnic classes. I happened to look this up online because I had several students that came up with that answer. And I thought, OK, how is it they all look the same? And I found the answer online. What wasn't there was December 11th, 2021. And as soon as that happened with some of the other things that then began to happen regarding my students in the online, as I realized that either it was the government or it was God, December 11th, 2021 was this crazy, crazy set of um, tornadoes that was absolutely wacky and not having been seen before. But it was also the day of the God of the Mountain. So here we're getting involved in Tishab. Now, I, I interviewed the student twice. She is she was adamant. She did not add this. I've had a lot of things being added to my work. So I'm going to go in and begin doing an issue of Tisha because all of the very, very crazy weather, which really began in 2011, we're going to be looking at is actually attributed to Tisha and Shala. So let's come in and take a peek. I'm coming out of this one for now. And we're going to take a look at who Tishop is. So I'm just going in to find him. And you will see that somebody has it orchestrated so that every time I open up the Hurrian, it goes directly to Tishop. Let's see if this happens again. Normally, it just goes to the beginning of everybody's alphabet. But with my Hurrian, it constantly opens up to Tishop. Here we go. There we go. Tisha. Tishaba or Tishbi. Depending upon how you're looking at it, whether it's Hurrian or Orgotten, it just opens up. Even if I end it on an A, I've ended it on an A. Let me go back into languages. Let me go back into Tisha. I mean, into Hurrian again. And again, it opens up to Tisha. So I'm going through just to look at a few languages so that you can see 
where this is working. But before I go into that, I would like to show you some ancient Minoan, and it's from the Linear A. Let's see if I can open this up so that you can see how important Tishab was and why Father was so important. Oh, oh wait a minute. That means I've got to go back into Hurrian. There's Tishab. I'm going to go into Atai, which is Father, because you're going to see it in the linear A. I'm trying to think of. This is related to uh, Isha, Isis, but I'm not doing that one right now. So let's see if it's the next one over. Oh, here's a lie, queen lady. So a lie is not my lord, it's my lady. Um, next one. Let's... Ah, they have a lot of A's. Oh, here we go. Here, so here's a tie father so it can be a tie or a tie father great this thing is doing this obnoxious thing with me um avaris where we get avaris so let's come back now into this here is tish up and this is actually i want to do this quickly because i don't want to make this one too long let's go to 503 703 Let's go to the top of 703. Oh. Oh, why did I want to start here? Well, here's Tishab showing up quite a bit. So I guess we'll go backwards. And the reason why I picked up Silu or Shilu or Shila is because it shows up at the end of Genesis in terms of a breath, um, a blessing. And that is Judah, the lion, which probably has to do with the transition of Leo in Regulus versus Virgo in Regulus. Anyway, this was their ending, their end to a prayer. So when we take a look at some of the Psalms, it ends in Shala. It ends the Psalm in Shala. It's this derivation it comes from this right here and that's what they ended their prayers in so dude there's tishab haba you're going to uh, you will see in another another video that i will put out haba hera they all are coming from the same stem so i have to come back here i guess i'm working backwards let's come into 75 oh i know what i wanted to show you in 75 the Mach uh, Arus or Oru, which is what Jerusalem was originally, Oru Salam. Is this 75? Yes. Oh, here we go. Oru Haba. Make great Haba. So a lot of my argument is that Ishua became Joshua or the Ashua. And all of these were out of ancient Turkey. They were all... Hurrian, Hattian, Anatolian conglomerations. So let's just keep moving forward. We're moving back. Lady Mistress, uh, that's going to be up here. 75, Hado Haba, Tabdu Haba. That's where we get hip hop. Here's another form of Isha. And I know it's in here. Oh, 73, excuse me. Here we go. And here it's used, a lie. Lady mistress. So when you hear a lie, a lie, it's Baruch Haba B'Shem. Right? In one case, it's Odonad, uh, Odai, excuse me, Adani, or when it's Adonai, that's also a feminine ending. My. So here we go. There's a lie. Mm, 73. Oh, a tie is here. Here is the beginning of a tie. They had a tri triune, and their triune was their God, the Father, God, the Mother, and God, the Son. So the original triune, and they would 
say prayers to our Father and use the term Atai. Atai Hishap. There's a greater possibility that Elijah, who was of Tish, Tishbe, was trying to bring you back into this ancient religion rather than the other. Um, 766. There's actually a lot in here. Here was 766. And I'm just giving you an introduction. Oh, Sena, we're going to look up that word. Sena or Shena is brother in Hurrian. But it's also brother in Egyptian. Yikes. <laughs> hmm. There's an awful lot of overlap going on between the Hurrians and the Egyptians in several different areas. And Tishab is 703. And we have, I've done this. Wait a minute. Oh, I've already showed you, so I don't. Oh, here's Tishab. Or it can be Tisab. Or it can be Tishbi. Oh, here we go. 503. So it would have been here. Well, I better move on because we've got other things to do. He is sometimes called Tishbi, Tishba, but he's also called Tishbi. So Elijah Tishbi makes more sense. Here we go. Let's come out of here now and let's go back into this um, paleo lexicon. And you'll see what I'm talking about. We'll go in and we can see Shala if they wanted to say Shala while we're here. Let's just go into here's Senna, brother which is Senna. Here's Shala, daughter. Right. So you can see that I, I'm ending it on an S. As soon as I go into languages, I come back into here and I go into Hurrian. It comes right back up on Tishba. So they want you to know that you're to do the Tishba. And you, in this case, I think I'm looking at the destruction of Florida weather. It's time. It's their non-example. All right, let's bring this back home. If you notice, this starts with a C. It starts with that. Even if I go to a pi, here we go, or a pa, if I leave the language and come back to it, and I go back into the Greek, there we go. It goes right back to their first letter, which is a C. If I go into, and I'm just going to take you into carrion, because I will be looking at the alphabet at a later point. Here's Adamus Adami made for himself. But here's the A. I'll do a T. All right. I'll go out of the language. If I go back into the language for carrion, and there, one of the reasons why this is important is because of the alphabet. I have a sneaky, oh, so it went right back into the A. It didn't go into the T. Let's go back into languages. I want to look at the Etruscan, and I want to look at a few things. Here we go. The Etruscan, I'm looking at their gods. Well, here's their A. Alice, 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 Alice. Oh, 
oh, here they have Appa for father. Aplu, there's Apollo. Aplu. Aplu actually comes to us from, oh, I'll, I'll show you, um, from Akkadian or the other way around. And it did mean destroyer. Mm -hmm. I'm not happy with what I'm doing. What It was A-E. If it's A-E, let's go back to the beginning. Oh, there we go. Look, that's where the Norse get it from. The Asar. Yeah. Well, do I have it up there? I don't think so. Nope. But it's where they get the Asir. The Asir gods. Hmm. It's related to this. So I'll go back to a T. Personal names. All right, let's come out of this. Let's go back into the Etruscan. And it starts out with A. It does not go to a T. Let's go to this language now. Let's go to Hatian. Here is Hatian. You're going to see Alap. Now this makes hope much more sense for the beginning of the letter A. Why is this circle doing this obnoxious thing? I don't know. So Alap means language or tongue. It makes far more sense that the beginning of the alphabet would not mean that it would mean language or tongue and that it doesn't mean some other crazy thing like a bull or a lord. It, it clearly means language and tongue. Anna means woman. That's good. And let's come back here. We're just going to go to T. Oh, I know what I wanted to do. Aja. Here's Aya, which they use in Hebrew all the time. Heaven. Ishbel, an evil man, like a spell. And Aja meant shining. And this is an older, there's an older attestation for this than there is for anything in Hebrew or Aramaic. So there should be Taru here for their god, their major god. Maybe. There we go. Taru, the storm god. Now I'm going to go back into Hurrian. Oh, wait a minute. I have to go back out. Go back in. Here's the Hattic, and it goes right to the A. Once again, it goes right to the A. Let's go back out here, and I'll go into the Hurrian. It went right to Tisha. So it doesn't matter if I leave on a different alphabet. It's constantly opening up to Tisha. Okay, thank you. Namaste. God bless. Let's see if I can turn this off. Oh, I shouldn't do a namaste yet. I should just quickly look up the Akkadian Dictionary. And here's the Akkadian Dictionary. Let's see if I can get it to go. There it is. Here's the Acadia. This is just a really fast one. This is not the best one there is. I'm going into English. And I'm going to use hair, air for sun. Because this name pops up all over the place in the Middle East. And here it is. Aplu, hair or sun. So Apollo originally is related to, these are related terms. Akkadian was used and written in for a very long time, probably 1,500 years, a thousand, at least a 1,000 years, 1,000 to 1,500. 
So it's a pretty important uh, 15, 1200, 1500 years. So it's it's pretty important to understand this. And this really looks like it's related to Hurrian. This is for a different discussion. Okay, bye-bye for now. Thank you.